Seat on the runoff ballot is for City Commission seat four. Incumbent Judy Tinder had a challenge from Brian Dick, who made it to the runoff because a third candidate had dropped out of the race. The unofficial results are as follows. Judy Tinder holds on to her seat with just over 59% of the vote. Brian Dick brought in almost 41%. Now this race was a little bit heated from time to time, but Lynn Haven has a commissioner to represent them now in seat four. News 13's Anna Hoffman spoke with them both right after the results came in. Tinder says she feels thankful to be reelected onto the Lynn Haven City Commission, and she plans to hit the ground running. She says Lynn Haven is a great city, but they still have a lot to do. I think the city's going to rebuild, and I hope quickly. Um, I see great things in our future. But I'm also not giving up on the fact that we still have some cleanup to do. She says she hopes to make change during this next term. Tinder says she believes her knowledge of the city commission will help to make things happen. Tinder says she is proud of the campaign that she ran. However, she doesn't believe this was a clean race from many of the candidates and supporters involved. I don't like to fight dirty. I'm very factual, but I don't like to fight dirty. This was the first political race for her opponent, Brian Dick. Dick spent his night surrounded by friends and family at Beef O'Brady's in Lynn Haven. He says it is hard to swallow the loss, but he did everything he could throughout his campaign and feels he kept it very clean. I think that if, if anybody can put uh, service before self or helping others before you help yourself, you should always uh, endeavor to be more for your city. He says Lynn Haven is a beautiful place and the community has been through a lot over the last few years. Dick says he wants to congratulate Tinder on the win and just wishes the best for the city of Lynn Haven. In Lynn Haven, Anna Hoffman, News 13, Panhandle Strong. You can see the results again on our website, mypanhandle.com, and we will let you know when Supervisor of Elections Mark Anderson officially certifies the vote later this week.